Hello there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Today a quick video on how to roast a haunch of venison. Some of you may or may not recognise this beautiful work of art from my How to Butcher a Deer video. Check down there, you know the drill, you will see the link to that latest video. Now, haunch of venison, fantastic meat. Fast becoming in the UK, you know, one of the fastest selling game meats. It's rich, it's sweet, and the main thing is it is super, super healthy. The thing is though, people are still a little bit scared of cooking venison for the fear of drying it out. So what we do with the horns like this, a great method which I'll show you is we brown it off in the pan and then finish it in a hot oven. It's almost like shocks it, if that makes sense. And let it rest and you will have the perfect, perfect with a bit of luck, pink venison haunch. Very simple then, I've got my oven preheated at gas mark seven, look up there for the conversion, and as simple as, as simple does, let me just put that on the plate a minute, I am just gonna get a little bit of oil, a neutral oil, I'm using sunflower oil, and just give it a massage, just a little massage. This is a fantastic haunch of roe. Just have a look at that. Now we need to season it. You may have seen this before. I season the board. So cranking my pepper straight onto the board. Then some sea salt. And we're not going to add much else to this. So I'm just going to crank a bit more pepper on. You can see I've added some sea salt. I'm going to add a little bit more. We're not going to add any herbs, any spices. We just want to concentrate on the pure flavor of venison and then just roll it so it's completely covered. Neat little trick. Nicely seasoned. So on my hob then I have got a oven proof dish. I'm just going to add just a little more spot of oil and what we need to do then is just brown this well on every side and you want that sizzle because you want a good coloration on it and this is a fantastic way of cooking any game, even pheasant, duck, quail. You know, get this pan hot, get the colour on, on the hob, and then into a hot oven and cook it really quick. So, just take your time browning this beautiful horn char. Right, as you can see, that's had a lovely browning. Just have a look at that. That looks good enough to eat as it is. So what we're going to do then, like I said, into a pre-warmed oven, gas mark 7, for initially 20 minutes. Okay then, there's that initial roasting done. After 20 minutes at gas mark 7, it should look like that, and what a picture that is. So first thing I'm going to do is turn my oven down to gas mark 2, there's a conversion. And what we need now is to continue roasting this slowly. Uh, you could take this out now if you want to, wrap it in foil, rest it for 30 minutes and you'll have a very rare venison haunch. But I want to take it a little bit further, rare to medium. So what I'm going to do for every 500 grams that haunch is, this is a kilo, so two, I'm going to give it an extra 10 minutes per 500 grams. So that will be going back in on Gas Mark 2 for 20 minutes. And if you like it, medium to well give it an extra 15 minutes per 500 grams and if you like it well done don't bother have a bacon sandwich right check it in 20 minutes okay so that's been in again for 20 minutes at gas mark two now we need to rest it now i will put all these timings down in the comments because i know it can get a little bit confusing but a good way to check with your meat probe looking for a temperature of between 130 and 140 Fahrenheit. This is coming up, 136, 137. Make sure it's in the middle. Brilliant, that's reading 140. If I can show you that, will it pick it up on here? Yes. What we need to do then is wrap that in foil and leave it for 20 to 30 minutes. Don't be tempted to cut into it. Don't be tempted to pick bits off. It's all part of the process and I know it's hard. But trust me, 
when we unwrap this beauty and cut into it, it will have been all worthwhile. So I just take my horn shot then onto my foil. A nice double layer of foil to keep it warm. You don't want to put this back in the oven, just leave it out on the top, resting like that. And that there is pure gold. Oh, mate. Oh, where's the bread? Right, so I'm going to wash this up quickly. Be back in 20 to 30 minutes. Right, so we roasted this initially for 20 minutes on Gas Mark 7. Then we roasted it at Gas Mark 2. Then we've rested it for half an hour. Right, the moment of truth. Let's see if I can, let me just take these bands off by nipping through. It's a bit of overkill, I know. Let's do this. Take some nice slices. Remember we want it pinkish, retaining its moisture. Oh, look at that. Hey, just have a look at that beautiful piece of venison. Oh yeah, wow, how good does that look? And that is the trick to cooking perfect roast venison. I know we all get a bit worried about it drying out, but you can see how moist that is. Nice and pink. You could serve that with whatever you want, seasonal veg. Me, I'm going to keep it real. A piece of white bread, some horseradish, a couple of slices. Well, why not? Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. Just look at that. Look how moist that is. That's how you want your venison. And if you like what you're seeing here today, please subscribe. Click down there. Like this video, share it, share it on your forums. Also, you know the drill by now. Find me on Facebook at Scott or the Scott Reed Project. Also on Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. And if you're feeling generous, if you click down here somewhere, you'll see fan funding. If you want to make a donation to the channel so we can keep moving forward, it will be greatly received. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Oh, I do. Till next time. Ta-ra. Look at that.